Hey guys, it's Jules with Stop Drop Disney, and today I wanted to hop on to talk about some first thoughts I had on the Cinderella and Aurora Disney New Emos plushes. So if you're interested in hearing more about that, please keep watching. And if you love Disney as much as I do, subscribe for weekly videos on Disney-related topics and more fun. So I have been a Disney New Emos collector since they first released in the U.S. And I so far have every character that's released in the U.S. as well as Alice, the White Rabbit, and the March Hare that released internationally. And I love them. I really adore them. I think that the clothing is really cute. I found some cool um, different vendors on Etsy that also make some pretty awesome outfits for them. So I am a huge fan of the Disney New Emos and definitely appreciate them as an adult collector, but also I love the fact that kids can really enjoy them as well. So with that said, I wasn't sure about these two new Disney New Emos when I first saw them. And I have seen a few photos from people that have received them already internationally, and it's kind of winning me over a little bit, but not quite. So my, I guess, reservations about these Disney New Emos have been all about their hair. I'm not super excited about these hairstyles that have been... Um, designed for Cinderella and Aurora. I think that they just overcomplicated the hairstyle on Aurora. I think they could have simplified it and it would have been really, really cute. But instead, they've given her bangs that almost look to me, and I'm sorry, but this is my honest first thoughts, like a cinnamon roll. <laughs> So I don't know about you, but that was my first thought when I saw Aurora that she has cinnamon roll bangs. And while I think kids will love the, these characters, both of them, just because they're the characters that they are, I do think that as a collector, you could tend to be a little bit more picky. And I am still not that picky because I love all of the Disney New Emos that have released, even though some people had reservations about Rapunzel and other characters. But with these two, I think their hairstyles are just so different that it was a little hard to, I don't know, get used to them in just even looking at the images or like kind of figure out what I was thinking in terms of their hairstyles. They were just something I had to react to. So with Cinderella, I feel like when you look at her hairstyle and you look at the images of her in the original movie, I can totally see what they were doing. And as I've had time to kind of sit with the images of her character, she has grown on me most definitely. And I think it was just difficult to figure out what to do exactly with that updo um, because it does kind of look like the updo in the movies. It's just, it's a little bit more dramatic in Disney New Emo's fashion. But I think that otherwise she's very cute. I love her face. I do like the headband and I love the dress. So I think all together, I've kind of been won over by Cinderella, but Aurora, I just can't get past her bangs. I think the hairstyle in the back is kind of whatever. I don't really necessarily care for the squiggles that they've given for detail of her hair in the back, but they don't really bother me either. And they do match the bangs, so there's that. But I just think overall with quality control, being somebody that has to order online because I don't have a Disney store I can go to anymore, I wouldn't trust that what I would receive would be anything like what I want. And ultimately, like, I don't think I could get past the bangs. But otherwise, I think this is a very beautiful doll. I think her face is really done well. I like her eyes. I think they've done a good job of her blush. She has a nice necklace and the dress is fabulous. So I really have no complaints with the doll overall, other than that, those bangs. <laughs> I just, I just don't know. They just were kind of 
where I understand the exaggeration that happens on cartoon style of characters at times, I just don't think that it's very flattering to her, this hairstyle. That said, as I see more photos and people with her, maybe I'll be won over by Aurora as well, but I'm just not feeling it at this time. And I do need to start, you know, kind of reducing my collection as is. So I think that this will just be one I'll have to not have in person. But that said, I love to know your thoughts and hear what you guys think of these two Disney new emos. And, you know, if you'll be picking up them both, if you like one more than the other. Um, also, just to note, Aurora does have a crown. It's just really hard to see from the front. So from the back, you can see that she has a crown, but it's just with those bangs, there's no way that you could see them from the front. Um, but yeah, I I think that they're both cute. Like if you're ordering them for kids, I think definitely both of them. But if you're a collector and you really are kind of maybe picky about these things, a little bit more picky than a child would be, you know, I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Is it just me? I've kind of seen other people making similar comments um, on these, so I, I don't think I'm alone. But that said, I've seen a lot of people that love them as well. So interested to hear your feedback and thoughts, but also excited that they did release some new outfits and accessories this week in the U.S. I picked up the floral print jumpsuit and the raincoat, which I'm really hoping is reversible just based off of the fact that the raincoat that they showed within their ad imagery is much more colorful. So I think that's on the interior and you just have to reverse it to see that. But either way, it's cool to have a raincoat. I just really liked the brightly colored raincoat that they showed in their ad. And I also really loved the umbrella with the, the uh, clouds on the inside of it. I thought that was really, really cute. I just don't, I have so much new emo stuff right now. I think I, I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Plus, I need to be saving money. So two outfits was the right amount for this month. But yeah, I'm excited to see what they come out with next. I really, really want them to bring Snow White to the US. But I do appreciate that they re-released Kermit and Miss Piggy in the US because I know there's a lot of people that wanted them and couldn't get them. And the upcharges that were happening on Mercari and other like sites like eBay for those characters were nuts. So it's nice that people will be able to get them at a more reasonable price. So I'm not not angry at all that they re-release some characters because some people started collecting Disney new emos later. Some people are just starting now. So to give those people a chance to get some characters that were pretty awesome, I think is a great thing. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I may be doing another video later this week. I haven't decided yet, but i um, very excited to comment with you guys on these Disney new emos and, and see what you think. So thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Thanks guys.